Hey guys, what's up? This is Alsa uh, Squirrel with another uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Um, for this video, it's the card merge glitch. Uh, this is a workaround for the one that just got patched. So for this glitch, what you want to do is start your bunker and come to your Arena War and make sure that you have all the vehicles you need uh, for this glitch. So go ahead and get your vehicle and you're going to press right on the D-pad uh, to go to your uh, workshop. What's it going to be? So once you're in there, uh, go ahead and press B and then exit the vehicle and re-enter your vehicle. And what you're gonna do is press uh, right uh, right D-pad, gas, left D-pad, and you guys should get an animation. I'm gonna go ahead and skip. Okay guys, so this is where I had the glitch. Go ahead and get back in your car. And you're gonna press right D-pad, gas, left D-pad, and you should get an animation just like this one. What's it going to be? Once you guys get the animation uh, and everything, go ahead and press B once and then exit your vehicle. Once you exit the vehicle, go ahead and jump back on it. And now the next step, go ahead and press uh, left on the D-pad. And you should get this animation taking it back to the storage. And your vehicle should still be here, as it's shown. Now, the next step, go ahead and get out of your vehicle and re-enter it to make sure that uh, the glitch is working. What you should see is only uh, the right D-pad option. Okay, so once you do that, go ahead and get out of the vehicle and go to the vehicle that you want to add the mods onto. Once you're in there, just go ahead and uh, press right on the D-pad. And for this guys, make sure your vehicles don't flip over, okay? So once you're there, go ahead and uh, press B and exit the vehicle and return your first vehicle that was in there back to storage. Once the vehicle has been returned to storage, uh, go ahead and get it in a vehicle that has the mods on it. For example, I'm going to use a biped. So go ahead and press right on the D-pad again. What can I do? So what you're gonna do, go ahead and exit the vehicle and you're gonna get in the vehicle that doesn't have the mouse on. And what you're gonna do is press the hold up pause menu and spam as you let go of the pause menu, spam left on the D-pad. So in the vehicle, hold the pause menu and as you let it go, spam left on the d-pad and you should see this animation with the pause menu so just, just back at the pause menu and your character will start running once you stop running go ahead and go in first person and press down on your analog sticks okay so it's running a little bit so now stop go ahead and push down on your both of your analog sticks okay so now go ahead and go look for the car that you added the mod the mods on or or the rims on okay so by the way guys the vehicles will rotate they will uh, switch places okay so what you're gonna do go ahead and press uh run the d-pad and drive it to the workshop Okay, once you do that, as you can see, this vehicle has been flipped over. Don't, do not get out of the vehicle, okay? You can return it back to storage, but per, for my performance here, I just gonna go ahead and add something to it, excuse me. Now that I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and return it back to storage. So I just, for my, for just to be safe, I'm just gonna go ahead and add, um, something extra what's it going to be what can I do all right so uh, I just gonna add something here uh, gonna take a look at the spoilers and once you change something 
and you like it uh, what you want to do is press uh, B and B again and then exit the vehicle go ahead and re-enter the vehicle and you can return it back to storage and that's all what you got to do peace